there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. Guess what? Got another transform review for you. I know. I know. I'm amazed always. But anyways, today I'm going to be taking a look at Studio Series number 56. This is Leader Class Shockwave from Dark of the Moon. Ooh, look at that glare. Ooh. Look at the box. Ooh, look at the box. But before we do that, do me a huge favor. Go hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate that. You can hit that little bell. It notifies new content. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. It's all in the description. It's easy peasy. So let me squeeze it. Do me a favor, go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man. Awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy site, man. It's easy to navigate. Really nice, awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got legends. He's got third party. He's got Hasbro. He's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformers galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping. Wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you. He might even give you a virtual hug. All right. Mm -mm. Mm, I just love the smell of new plastic. Golly. All right, I'm gonna get this fella out, get to know him a little better, transform him, all that wonderful stuff, and I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think. Yeah. All right, here is Studio Series Shockwave, leader class in his alt mode. And let's go over stuff he comes up with real quick. So as always, they come with these little, you know, activity scenes, really cool. This was a fight in Chicago, you know, with all the paratroopers coming down and everything so cool and you can you know display them in here if you want to like this he's a little big so he may uh kind of lean off like that but that's an option so there that is pretty cool he comes with two little little and i mean little figures he comes with wheelie now, this is small i see plenty of those got some blue paint you got the black for the tires and the nicely done red eyes. They're soft plastic, but they're really fragile. And he can't stand up, which really sucks. Well, I lied. He can stand up. <laughs> it was I tried to get him to stand up earlier, you know, while I was messing, you know, transforming and everything, but he would not stand up. But now he proved me wrong. Golly. Then you also get got some plastic or something on me. Uh Jesus, come on now. Won't come off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like stuck to me. Come on now. All right. You also get brains, which is really cool. Nicely done. Nice metallic silver, gunmetal silver paint, whatever metallic paint, silver. And you got a nice little blue for the hair. Like I said, it is soft pl plastic, but just be, just be careful with them. And he can stand up. I got him to stand up. No, he won't stand up. Okay. There he goes. So, yeah, that's how small he is to them towards the, you know, uh, shockwave. But that's pretty cool. Nice little... Little throw wins, they didn't have to do that, you know. But and he also comes with a little paratrooper, and it's awesome. It's pretty cool. Nicely done. Same soft plastic a little bit. Just you know, you will break it if you move it too far. A little paint paint for the face right there. And you got some strings and this kind of a flimsy kind of plastic. Like that. So I'll show you better in a, a bot mode and everything. You know, that scene where he you know drops down and you know covers his eye and everything, so Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's take a look at his Cybertronian tank mode, I guess. So while I was transforming it, it, it get a feel to a lot of engineering, especially in the lower part of the transformation of uh, the uh, Re Revenge of the Fallen uh, Voyager class Megatron. You know, and, and, you know, he has the head sticking out, and he's got those little covers right here that covers his face. So basically they took some engineering from that uh, Megatron, and they put it into this. Everything. But... Pretty cool. Very nicely done. The paint on this is spectacular. My God, it's got that nice metallic purple, but it's got a lot of dry brushing and everything. So it's got a lot of weathering and all that stuff. These are like a Triceratops. This is a soft plastic, just like this thing is. It's soft plastic also. It's got some nice dry brushing also with it. Very nicely done. And then you got the hose. It comes in there like this. It does have wheels. It's got four wheels under there. You got the thrusters. The thrusters will move around. These will move like that. This will move up and down. So, like I say, he does have wheels. He will roll. 
you know, it's a cool tank mode, you know, it's a bunch of, looks like a bunch of metal shards all put together. Got his hand right there, but pretty cool. The tank, the, this is soft rubber also, be careful. Well, not be careful, it's a lot sturdier than, I wish it would have been hard plastic, but that's painted silver for the turret or the gun. But yeah, that is pretty cool. A lot of stuff going on right there. That is Leader Class Studio Series Shockwave from Dark of the Moon. All right, there's a Siege side swipe next to him, Deluxe Class. We got the Beast Hunters um, Bumblebee. And we'll throw in a Classics, uh, something like that. And then we'll just throw in some Legend Class real quick, show you what the scale is. So, there you go, scale. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, back from Transformation, and here is Dark of the Moon Studio Series Shockwave. Yay. Once again, let's look at this nice paint job. This is a beautiful paint job. I love how this looks like a rib cage, and it's over some, you know, mechanical parts. Looks really good. See that dry brushing right there? And there's dry brushing all here. That is so sweet. Same goes for down here. Not much right here, but it's all mainly uh, metallic purple. But right here, it's got a lot of draw brushing. So beautifully done. My goodness. In the back, it's got the little thrusters. They're nicely painted too. I guess that's gonna, yeah, that's snap in. Sorry about that. But yeah, those are nicely painted, kind of a bronze kind of type of color. And you got the treads. I don't like these things right here. They're just weird, but you know, they serve a purpose. They're kickstands, I guess. And you got the holes. There's some holes in this house. Lolly Dottie, we likes to potty. So yeah, that is him real quick. So let's take a look at articulation. The head sculpt looks beautiful. Nicely done red, red paint. You got the little teeth. That's so cool. Nicely detailed. He's got some nice purple. Like I said, he's got some nice dry brushing right there. That is beautiful. My God, they, man. See, I love when Hasbro does this, man. They go little, you know, those little steps, you know, that just really make a nice transformer. And that's just beautiful. The head sculpt is wonderful. Love that. So you can look down quite a bit. Very nice. And you can look all the way up. That's good. Side to side. Very nice. And you can get a little add to it right there. He's just really menacing. He's got a nice presence. Like I said, go down to the chest and abdomen right there. That's a little shockwave. I could, uh, you know, I was looking at it, I was like, that looks like a little shockwave right there. That's pretty cool. It's got a little shockwave right there on his chest and everything. And you got that. Look at all that detail right there, man. That is beautiful. And it's got some dry brushing, too. That's just, come on now. Move on to the arm so he can go up. You got this thing I showed you. It's soft plastic. I wish it would have been hard, but I understand why they did it. But it just, you know, it kind of, if it's in there, fine, I guess. It's just not really a, a, a secure spot right there and there's a uh, a spot underneath right here which i like it better underneath right here so he has like an underarm kind of thing going on i like that so that's that little weapon so go up to there like i said and go all the way around nicely detailed once again beautiful paint job does have a thigh uh uh bicep swivel very nice 90 degrees then you got nicely detailed right there and the hand the hand is soft plastic also but i, I kind of like that it's not too bad like that. You can go in and out like that. So very nicely done. It's got some nice weathering silver paint on the hand. That's really nice. Moving on down. No waist ro rotation. I wish it had one. You know, it doesn't make or break something, but it would have been nice for that. So you can go uh, kick up all the way up to here. Dun, 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 dun. And you can do the Van Damme. That's really cool. Oh. Go back over there. He has two separate arms. I'm sorry. So he has this wonderful, huge cannon. Long, strong, about to get his friction on. Look at all the details in there. He's got a little, little posable thumb. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It moves in and out right there. But that is nicely detailed. I love it. The cannon is, is beautiful. Look at all that. Nicely done. Purple. All that stuff. Mechanical. Like I said, the cannon is soft plastic, so it probably won't break. I understand why they did it. He's got silver at the end of his can at the you know at tip of it and everything. All right, so where was I? I did that. All right, thigh swivel, nicely done. Has a little one right there, but he does have a cut right there. Put it on down, nicely done. Details for the paint, just beautiful. 
Uh, more, a little more than 90 degrees, not much, but a little more. That's cool. You got hard plastic right there. Moving on down to the feet. It's Triceratops feet. This is soft plastic, but once again, it's got some nice dry brush and paint on there. That's wonderful. Wonderful articulation for the feet. Toe tilt up and back. And he has a wonderful rocker. That is sweet. And like I said, on the back, these are movable. You can move them down all around. So a little backpack, but not much. And then you got the treads, which look really cool. I think they may have got that off of the Voyager Megatron also. But, and then you got these. I forgot about the little kickstands. They go up and up. You can have them up like that or whatever you want to do. So, very nicely done. Get them situated. And that, sir, that, my friends, are the articulation and sculpt of Shockwave from the Studio Series. Okay, so here's the little parachute guy. Like, uh, you can do that. And this is pretty cool. He has little holes right there. There's two posts right here. There's one right here and right there. So you can have them standing on, you know, just put that like there. You can have them standing like this and have them covering like that. So pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Little nice little add-on, little accessory. They didn't have to do that, but it's a nice little nod. And here he is next to the original Voyager Dark of the Moon uh, shockwave from the Bayverse earlier movies. And there's the backs real quick. All right, there's some leader class Voyagers and Deluxes from the Studio Series line. And you got little brains and wheelie down there also for scale. They're so tiny. <laughs> Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks. Scale doll. All right, let's talk about Studio Series number 56, Leader Class Shockwave from Dark of the Moon. The alt mode looks really nice. I know we didn't transform in the movie, so they just did whatever they had to do, so they made him a Cybertronian tank, and I think it looks nice. It's really not, the paint really shines on this. It's a cool tank mode. It does look like a bunch of metal shards coming out of everywhere, but that's what, you know, a Cybertronian tank would look like, probably on Cybertron. So I think it's really nicely done. I like the tank mode. I like the rolls. It's pretty cool. So really nice on the uh, alt mode. Transformation is really simple. You should be able to figure it out. Um, like I said, the leg modes really take a lot of the Voyager Megatron from uh, Revenge of the Fallen. So if you transform him, you should be able to transform this guy really well. It's not hard at all. It's a fun transformation, but you know, it's simple, straightforward and everything. So yeah, very cool on the transformation. The sculpt and hardware are spectacular. I love the head sculpt. It looks beautiful. That red eye just really menacing, like it's piercing at you. Really nice, got the teeth. That is so cool really nicely done and the sculpt work is really nice you may not like the character but man this is a nice transformer as far as sculpt wise man it looks exactly like the movie i love it really nicely detailed the hardware is really good you know it does have some soft plastic in areas um the, i don't really like the little weapon the side thing that hangs on his arm you know it, it really stays in there it's not really securely in there but other than that, the hardware is really good stuff. You know, if it, anything pops off, you can pop it right back on. So really nicely done on the hardware. And the sculpt where it is beautiful, especially the chest is like the rib cage over other metal stuff. It's just really nice. I love that little shock wave on the and its abdomen and everything. Really nicely done on the sculpt work. The paint is spectacular. I love all the dry brushing. That is so cool. They went an extra step and I love that Hasbro. Come on now, do that. Do that all the time. But the purple really stands out. This nice metallic purple. It's got the nicely gunmetal, you know, silver and everywhere. Just really nicely done on the paint and where it's all, even on the soft weapons and soft goods, they got paint on that. And it looks really nicely done. I mean, come on. Beautiful paint work, man. And the articulation is wonderful also. It doesn't have a waist swivel. That doesn't make or break anything, but it would have been really nice if it had one. But the feet articulation is really good. The arm articulation is really good. Even on the cannon side, you know, you still have the same, you know, you can't really go all the way around because of the, you know, soft goods for the uh, holes and everything. But, it, you know, really nicely done articulation. You really, it had articulation is awesome. You can give me some good poses. I had a really great time taking pictures of him. Really nice. I love it. The accessories are cool too. The little parachute guy and little brains and wheelie. They're really 
small, just be careful with them. But it's a nice little touch, you know, a little add to it and everything. And the parachute guy really makes some really fun transfer, you know, pictures and everything. So really nice on the uh, articulation and the accessories. So overall, this is one of my favorite studio series, man. The our details are just spectacular, man. My God, just got so much around the abdomen and the chest and the cannon and the arms. It's just beautiful. The paint, the articulation is fun. It's a wonderful transformer. It's fun to transform back and forth. The tank mode looks really good. I highly suggest this one. If you love Studio Series and you love Shockwave, this is a great representation of it. And it's a wonderful transformer. Really good on this. Very nice. I'm, oh, spectacular. All right, I'm gonna get on the floor. I'm gonna do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right, man. I'm. I just love it when Hasbro takes that little step, just a little, and just does something so spectacular for a Transformer, and this is really good. I don't think I went through articulation with this other arm, I apologize. He does have a, you know, he can go all, you know, all the way up to there. This uh, hose right here gets in the way. He does have a bicep swivel and a 90 degree and everything, but oh my God. Just that little shockwave on his chest, it's just, or abdomen, whatever. It's so cool, and that purple rib cage thing, that is just, my God, this is a fun transformer. So happy. I'm so excited when you do, they do this, man. I wonder if some third party is going to make the worm thing that he had. I wonder if they're going to do that or like a sled thing he was riding on. I wonder if they're going to do that for him. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be definitely interested in seeing that, especially the worm things. That'd be pretty cool just to add on to this thing because it's already awesome. Oh, whoa. That is one scary Cyclops. I am Shockwave. How are you doing? Oh, what's up, man? I'm I'm chicken. Uh, yeah, I've heard of you. They do a lot of floor time with you. Yeah, yeah, they get on my back and we ride around a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to pass on you trying to ride me, cause I'm a little too small. I totally understand. I will just blast you now. Whoa, 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 whoa! No way, blast chicken. Hey, you had to go through me. Well, I, I'm not scared of you. Who are you? I'm Dirtfire. Well, Dirtfire, I'm Shockwave. Introduced to you this nice cannon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was so stupid. Dirt fire, come on now. But you did a good thing. You took up for chicken. That's awesome. All right, well, that was my review for the Leader Class Studio Series Shockwave from Dark of the Moon. Once again, wonderful, fun transformation, detailed out the ass. It's just a great train. It's one of my favorite studio series now. I have to say that. All right, go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go hit that sub button if you're new to the channel. Really appreciate that. Hit them comments and if you tell me if you like the review and what you think of this guy. Are you in for this guy when he comes out? I got this on Amazon and I'm, I'm glad I got him. He's freaking awesome. So I guess I'll see you on the next studio series review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro and good night, folks. I got my eye on you. Pew, 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 I own you.